Hey everybody, this is Justin from FrugalSnobs.com. Brock, let me say hello. Hello. What is up, YouTube? We brought a couple of additional currency review videos. So to kick off this particular set of videos, we have Peace Dollar. Yes. 1923 Peace Dollar. And this one is from the Philadelphia Mint. I see. So is it no mint mark? Yes. Okay, so folks, um, if you are familiar with mint marks on coins, typically if you don't see a mint mark on a coin, it's typically a P yes. or Philadelphia uh, struck yes. coin. So, front side of the coin, it's pretty. Yes. Goddess of Liberty. Yes. How cool is that? This is based on the Morgan Dollar design, which we've also reviewed the 1896, uh, I believe, of yes. Morgan Dollar. So check out that video here on YouTube. It's based on the Morgan Dollar design. Again, Goddess of Liberty on the front. And this coin was designed by Anthony DeFrancini. DeFrancini? Yes. Ah, interesting. Interesting. So, 1923. And the cool part is it was actually the numismatists that petitioned the redesign of the coin. Using the Morgan design as a template? Yes. Interesting. But they wanted something more symbolic for peace. So that's probably why the front side of the coin looks somewhat similar yes. to the Morgan design. Um, but again, you see detail on the front side of this coin. Uh, many of these coins, folks, the peace dollars, you'll see as uh, cull grade, as Christine has informed me, is basically junk grade. Yes. Uh, a lot of them are, are basically around for junk silver. Yeah. I see a lot of Canadian dollars that are junk silver as well, but just be uh, aware, folks, if you're collecting junk silver, I believe Canadian dollars are only 80% silver. Uh, this particular coin, I believe, is 90% silver. Yes. And contains 0.7735 ounces of silver. It's the same silver content as the Morgan dollar. Yeah, and if you take it based on spot price today, the melt value is around $12.68. But the numismatic value is far higher, $28 yes. to $30. Dollars, yes. Right? So again, these coins were struck between 1921 and 1938. Yes. And I um, <clears throat> believe, uh, again, uh, later on as well. Um, but interesting coin. Uh, we've wanted these for a long time. And uh, we were able to get a couple of these at a really nice price. Yes. So we talked about the front side of the coin. So yes. The back side of the coin. Yes. Back side of the coin, eagle. Yeah, the bald eagle. Mm -hmm. Clasping what? A <clears throat> olive branch. With the word? Peace on the rock that he's perched on. And that's one of the pieces of detail you can also look at in a peace dollar, folks, is if you can still see details in, for example, the, the feathers. The feathers or on the face on the front of the coin. Yeah. Also, if you can see the word peace. Yeah. Still struck in, not a partial form of peace, but the actual word struck into the stone, so to speak. So uh, those are just small details you look for on coins and yeah. kind of differentiate it from a cull or a junk silver piece. Yeah, and it helps you actually grade the coin itself. It does, yep. And also there are agencies you can send off to, and I think there are some image-based grading sites you can use. We'll yeah. do a little more research on that. But I believe you can actually take images of your coins and bills, send them off, your banknotes and your coins, these images, and get a estimate yes. grading as well. So... Really cool coin. Again, it looks similar to the Morgan dollar, but it's not. Yes. And we're happy to pick these up. 1923. Interesting year. Yes. I was going to say, the actual first coins were struck December 28, 1921. Only a week after the design was approved. Yes. Basically. <laughs> so it was close. But um, again, 1923. Let's see what else happened. Calvin Coolidge became president. Yes, whenever Warren G. Harding passed away. Yes. Anything else happened in 1923? Yes. Walt Disney was founded. Really? Yes. I didn't know that. 1923. First issue of Time Magazine. In 1923. So a lot of things happened in 1923. The first game at Yankee Stadium. In 1923. Yes. Interesting. So really cool time frame, folks. Warring, it was, ah, excuse me, it was the Roaring Twenties in the United States and, of course, around the world as it's pre-Depression. So a few years after this coin was struck, a lot of things also kind of went south. But... Enjoy the times while you had them, I guess. Exactly. So that is the 1923 Peace Dollar. Anything else you want to say about this dollar? One more thing. Okay. The coin was designed to commemorate World War One. Yes. So the ending of World War One yes. and the sustaining of peace. Yes. So really cool coin. And the sad part, I think, about the coin as well is that it was they struck uh, so many of these coins during 1921 through 38, and of course 1939, World War Two starts. So yeah. Sad. Very sad. But anyway, this is the Peace Dollar 1923, folks. Check out all the other videos we have here on YouTube. And don't forget to check out the Freelance House podcast. And also subscribe to the Flash Briefing on your Echo uh, speaker and your Echo services. We can't say our assistant's name because she's nearby as we record. Yes. So at any rate, folks, check out the Flash Briefing. Check out the podcast, FreelanceNobs.com, or wherever you enjoy podcasts. Subscribe while you're there. Leave a comment. And, and of course... Uh, 
a rating if you wish. And check us out on Facebook at facebook.com slash frugal snobs, on the Twitter machine, Twitter, at frugal snobs, of course. And, again, subscribe here on YouTube. Until we speak again, everyone, be well and never pay retail.